Hi, this is Paul, and I'm the lead research technician at the How to Linux Research Labs. Today I'm going to install the Arduino IDE on POP OS Linux 22.04. Now I did this once before, but that was an earlier version of Arduino, and that was in, that was, uh, in a tar file, a tarball, and in the meantime, I've learned that Arduino no longer has the tar file on their uh, download page and I'm not sure what they ha had before I just know what they have now they have app image package format and a zip file before they had tar that that is gone and I'd have to do some research to go back and look and see what other uh, what other package formats they had but uh, I haven't done anything haven't done any videos on Arduino being installed from a zip file or an app image so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the zip file today or right now and I'll probably do it the, and do the app image later okay so let's get started okay so the the, the newest version of Arduino IDE is 2.10 and we're gonna install that okay so here's my pop installation here I'm gonna need the browser and the terminal pretty much is all I'm gonna need and I can go into the application folder drawer here and look for the Arduino launcher and we'll also try to launch it from the from the command line as well okay so a couple of things we're gonna need basically the browser the terminal and uh, the application drawer here okay so first things first well let's let me just show you I don't have Arduino probably if I have the GUI already installed then it would be here in the application drawer in the A's and as you can see it's not here okay so we're good there so once we're done we'll check that and we'll see that it's been installed okay so first up is uh... get the pop going here 2.204 pop open the browser go to the arduino.cc homepage you want to go to the software tab here and then scroll down usually the most current one is at the top which is the case here even says here the newest major release of Arduino is 2.10 okay so you can scroll down and I think you can see uh, nightly builds which are probably unstable more current but unstable so we'll go, we'll go with the most current stable version 2.10 we'll, we'll skip the uh, nightly build and then if you go down you might see some older uh, some older well it look like, looks like you got uh, different um, different Arduino software that I'm not really familiar with we're just going to stick with the standard Arduino IDE okay so there's not really much here to look at to be honest okay so I'm going to zoom in on the download section here and the first one here Arduino 2.10 the newest major release okay that's good enough for me blah 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 bunch of information here you can do it from source but uh, you know if, it's, if there's already a pre-compiled binary, I'll just go that route instead. That's fine. I don't have to have the challenge of... At, not at, at the moment, I don't want to do the challenge of uh, compiling from source, but you can go to their GitHub repo here, clone, build, install, all that good stuff. So we're going to go with the uh, pre-compiled binaries to install it. Again, app image and zip. I'm going to go with the zip for now, and then I'll do the app image later. Okay, so uh, zip file is what I want. 64, x86, 64. Okay, this is the one that I want here. Hover mouse on that. Click on it. Wait for the download to start and finish. Okay, I need to actually activate the download. Yeah, it's asking me for money here. I don't want to contribute at the moment, so I'm just going to download... Once I download, this activate the uh, download. And I'm just going to X out of that survey. And then we're going to look at the uh, download progress here. And let's see how big is it. 200 megabytes, 30 megabytes. So I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, so I downloaded the uh, zip file, and that's done. 
So we're done with the browser for the moment. I'm going to go to the terminal here and I'm going to make I'm going to make a directory so that when I extract the contents from the zip file I'll direct the contents of the uh, extracted archive into that folder. And I'll call it just simply Arduino. You can call it whatever you want. So I'll make a, a master folder here, a parent folder. Okay. And we'll check that real quick. And you can see here's the folder I just created. Okay. So we'll clear on that. And the download folder is the default location for my browser to save its downloads. So I'll cd into the download folder. And I'll, look, I'll try to spot that uh, zip file I just downloaded right now. And here it is. Zip file. Arduino 2.1.0 zip. Okay, good. There it is. And just like with the tar file, I'm going to have to do an extraction operation on this. Okay, so this is the um, this is the command that I'm going to use to extract the zip file with the unzip command, not tar, but unzip. So zip, unzip. And if I wanted to create a zip, I'd go zip. But I want to unzip a zip file. Okay, and I'm going to re I'm going to use the D flag here to redirect the uh, the output to the home folder in the Arduino folder here. So once we keyed all this in, let's go ahead and enter on that. And there's no V flag, but it seems like it's uh, acting like there was a V flag as it when you use the tar command, you have the V flag for verbose, so it you know uh, echoes back to the screen what what it's doing. So there was no V flag there, but I guess it's built in. I just it's just you know under the hood or whatever. But it's it's a, it's at work. The V flag is at work somewhere because we're we're seeing what it's doing. Okay, okay. So that that was good. So we're clear on that. Go back to the home and simply CD into the Arduino folder. Okay, and then do an LS and we'll and then LSA and we'll see what's in here. And it doesn't look like it created a kind of a. It didn't have its own folder. Doesn't look like I I I would expecting to see another folder in here. Arduino, the big capital A, then another one with and then CD into that, and then you see all this stuff here. All right, so it's good that I created that uh, that major that that uh, parent Arduino folder. Otherwise, it might have just it might have just uh, spilled all these. Uh, files out loosely so that's good that I created that folder then okay that's good now we're gonna look for the installer here because it might be a little bit different from when I extracted the tar the tar archive okay after uh, scanning the contents and this is everything that's in there I homed in on the Arduino IDE file. This looks like an executable, some kind of a, a executable install script or whatnot. So I, I homed in on that, on that. It looks like it's already executable. So I did a file on that to see exactly what it is. And there's a lot of, you know, the usual encrypt, you know, cryptic gobbledygook here. But uh, focus in on a couple things like executable so I'm, I'm sure if, if when I run this that this should be what I need to actually install Arduino now I could uh, take a quick look at the permissions for that just to see what I'm dealing with actually it's LS with the L flag and then we'll get some uh, permissions and ownership and whatnot Okay, so I, I'm the owner, my group is the owner, and the permissions are pretty good. Looks like I can go ahead and execute it. No matter whether I'm the user, the group, or other, I can execute this file here. Okay, so we're good there. So I'm going to clear on that.
and let's see what this does here. Let's see if it actually executes and if it installs the uh, Arduino IDE. I feel like it's going to work here. Again, I didn't, um, I haven't done this with the, 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 you know, with the with the zip file archive. I just did it with the tar, and they actually had an a, a bash. They actually had a file called install.shell. So here they don't have that. But this might be the equivalent of, of what you find in the, in the tar archive. Okay, so I think we're all set up here, ready to go. Once you uh, once you key this in here, the executable syntax. Let's go ahead and and uh, enter on that and see what happens. Okay, bingo, bingo, bango. Looks like that's what I needed. And I'll be back in a minute when everything settles down. Okay, good. So after I ran the executable, it looks like it installed the uh, Arduino IDE 2.10 IDE. And um, it did do some downloading of some packages. So you have to wait for that to finish. And you can see here, this is the output here of what it was doing. It did install some more packages. So I had to wait for that to complete and settle down. I think we're all done now. So it looks like there's no more activity on the download. Everything's been downloaded and installed, looks like. Then you have to just close this console out. But it looks like, yeah, we installed Arduino IDE 2.10, which is the most current version. Come over here, take a look at the uh, the About section. Yep, 2.10. Okay, so we're good there. So we have it installed. I'm going to go ahead and exit out there. And as you can see, everything's good here on, on in, the, in the terminal side of things. So I'm going to go ahead and clear on that and try to find it in the application drawer real quick. And it should be here. At least I believe it should be. Okay, it doesn't look like, look like it's there. I'm going to have to hunt it down later or... Yeah, I was really expecting it to be here. Maybe you have to launch it by a terminal here. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, after a quick uh, reading up of some uh, Arduino docs and just uh, poking around and using some uh, of my intellect here, it seems like with this zip file version that there's not going to be a GUI shortcut. I could be wrong, but it is installed, but there's, there's no GUI uh, shortcut here that I could find. So this is out here. So that's one way of usually launching a program, right? The other way would be to actually invoke... It's not So it's Arduino, but it's not always exactly what you think. Like it, Arduino, to launch Arduino from the command line, it could be Arduino then it could be a dash, something else. So it's not always what you the most um, what you would think that it would be the, the, the obvious choice. There could be you know some variations on like you know dash whatever. In this case, I'm not going to try to look up exactly how to launch it. I'm just going to go with whatever looks like it's probably the way to go. Arduino in this case, and that's not that that's not right either. Okay, so. Okay, so it's installed, and how do we how do we launch it then? Unless we do some research and really try to get it to work in the GUI, or try to figure out what the actual command launch uh, the keyword would be here. Okay, so in lieu of all that, in which there might not be any other options, I'm not sure. In lieu of all the in, in lieu of trying to get it to work in the GUI and whatever the the keyword would be to launch it from the terminal. In the meantime, and this might be the only way. Certainly, it's it's the way right now. I don't know if there's other ways. I'd have to do more research on that. But right off the bat here, without you know uh, getting into the GUI or the, the keyword command to launch it from the terminal, I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to run that same executable that I did originally. 
Except this time, I think it's going to be cleaner because it's not going to download stuff because it already did that. So it'll be the ID. The IDE will launch the way and it'll look the way we want it to look. And it'll be ready to go. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and, and um, target this command here that we did before the executable here. So you want to CD into that Arduino folder, find that that executable. It's all ready to go. It had the permissions and everything. Just key that up and run it run it like this from the terminal and then it just seems to just launch the uh, the IDE GUI here and it's pulsating there and it's uh, loading and everything's all settled there's no more console you could probably bring it up so you can see some output and, and, and work with it but it's not there like it was before when it was uh, uh, you know downloading some more packages because it wasn't fully complete so now it's fully complete it's all up to date, patched, and everything, and it's just what, what it's just the way that we want it to look. Just you can't install it from the application drawer or a, a via a, just a regular standalone keyword in the terminal. You're gonna have to you know just run that executable again, and you know it's a little bit little bit of extra couple steps here, but no big deal. And you have to leave this back end running. So I do believe if you kill the back end here, you know you'll kill your 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 front end GUI here. And vice versa, if you kill this, you'll kill the server on the back end. And if you want, if you need the command line for something else, then just open another window or tab or whatever. But leave this running here. This this back end needs the front end and vice versa. So they work together. Okay, so that's that's pretty much about it. You can see uh, RD, RD, Arduino IDE 2.10 has been installed. 2.10, okay. And it's fully patched, and it looks like it's functional to me. I think it's going to work at this point. It's functional. It's not going to, I mean, who knows what's going to happen if you start using it. But at this point, it seems to be stable and installed, patched, and everything, and ready for you to, to work with. So, again, if you want to look up on your own how to add, a, add the GUI shortcut to your application drawer or to your desktop or find a keyword to launch it from the terminal, go ahead and do that. I can do that later myself. And but in the meantime, just launch that. Uh, just use that. Uh, just go into the Arduino folder or wherever you extract your your zip file contents to, and run and run this this executable here to always launch it. And you can read through all the inf some of the output here. But everything looks okay here. I think it's ready to rock and roll for you. And that's it. We've installed Arduino IDE 2.1.0, which is the most current stable uh, release version of this particular IDE. Okay, so yeah, we installed uh, the Arduino IDE on, on Pop! OS Linux 22.04 via the zip file. And I'll probably do an app image next time. Okay, uh, I'm Paul, and I am the lead research technician here at the... Uh, how to Linux Research Labs. Thank you for watching and subscribing, and I look forward to your comments and your feedback. Thank you.